What's up everyone, Nameco Dustin here, Fantasy Smack Talk. This is our bi-weekly baseball show. Gotta be making those push for the playoffs, so Dustin, hit him with some news or tips. There's a little bit of tip for you. You know, we've talked about it before, not necessarily settling with the team that you have and kind of shake things up if you're not really liking where you're at in the rankings. Now's the time. It's pretty much our last show before the fantasy playoffs are gonna start. So we just wanna show, throw in the tip, if you're right there on the bubble, you're not liking where your team's at, don't be afraid to drop some of your underperforming guys that you wouldn't maybe necessarily drop. Pick up some hot bats, see if you can you know, make a little bit of a push. No one should go out looking. Go out swinging, see if you can uh, shake things up a little bit. Yeah, nobody likes a quitter. All right, we're going to start with guys we should be adding in all leagues. The first one's a catcher, and that's Jonathan LaCroix. He's only owned in 40% of leagues. He got hurt, so that's probably why he's only owned in 40% of leagues. For the year, he's batting 325, and in the last two weeks, 313 with two home runs. If you need any help, if your catcher's hurting even a little bit, this guy's been playing great. Grab him. He's one of the sleepers we liked coming into the year. Moving on, Justin Morneau. Pick this guy up. <laughs> Since the last show where I was mad then, he's only been picked up in about 10% of leagues. Since the break, he's batting over 330, over 20 RBIs. You know, he could have a little bit more home runs from the first base spot, but he's still hitting home runs. And yes, a former MVP. I don't understand it. Pick him up, please. Yeah, at least send the video out to your friends. You know, maybe we're not big enough, but I'm sick of hearing about him talk about this guy. Pick Next we got Garrett Jones. First base outfield eligibility for the Pirates. In the last two weeks, 365 bombs, 17 RBIs. He's only owned in 60% of leagues. This is a guy that you should be at, and it's a hot bat right now. Moving on, Chad Billingsley. Only about 75% of leagues, so he's not available in too many leagues, but this is a guy that has been absolutely on fire lately. Since the break, sub-2 ERA, 6-0 record. Dodgers are scoring some runs. You know, Lifetime, he's always been kind of around a 500 you know, win-loss pitcher, but... With the Dodgers playing this well, I think he's going to get a lot of wins down the stretch, and he's been proven before, even though he didn't have a great year last year. Time to talk about guys in deeper leagues. Dustin, start us off. All right, our first guy, Chris Medlin for Atlanta. This young guy has a lot of potential. We actually thought about putting him in the must in all leagues, but want to see a little bit more out of him, but only on 55% of leagues right now. Since the break, sub-1 ERA, 4-0 record, and he has a 40-9 to strikeout to walk ratio. Pretty impressive. This guy could be the real deal. Braves, how do you do it? All right, next guy's a relief pitcher, Grant Belfort for the A's, owning 60% of leagues. You know, he's got the closer gig back, so he's getting saves, but the real stat that we love is since July 1st, he's only given up one earned run. So if you're in a rotisserie league trying to get some saves, burn some innings, he's the guy to grab. Moving on, Todd Frazier, outfield first, third base eligibility. This guy has been having a great year, but no love in the fantasy world, only under about 55% of leagues. 43 extra base hits already this year. Batting average just under 300. I don't see the issue. Pick him up if you need help in any of those positions. Next, we got for the Dodgers, Luis Cruz. He's got third base, shortstop eligibility, and he's only owned in 10% of leagues, but in the last month, that's 30 days, that's a month, he's been batting 329. He's only got two home runs, but he's also got 15 ribbies. But again, do you hear me? Third base, shortstop eligibility. And one thing to throw in about Cruz is he was a lifetime minor leaguer. He was in the minors from when he was 17 to 27 with only a few very short stints in the majors. So he's a guy that you just love to root for too. Hopefully he can be up for the rest of his career. Next we got Matt Harvey. Probably not though. Maybe not. We'll <laughs> see. But next we got Matt Harvey, young starting pitcher for the Mets. This guy's been pitching really good. Uh, 43 Ks and 36 innings, sub 3 ERA. He's only 23 years old. He was solid in the minors. This guy could be a nice pitcher for the Mets. All right, guys, to add to the watch list, and we only got one for you, and that's Tyler Skagg. Unlike Cruz, he didn't spend 10 years in the minors. This guy already got called up, had one start. Uh, in that start, he, he did six and two-thirds innings. He had only four Ks. He did have five walks, but he only gave up uh, two earned runs. He got the win. Again, this is a if you need to burn some innings and you're finding a guy to rotate in, if he's playing a terrible team, maybe like the Twins, hey, you're going to want to start hey, him. come on. <laughs> And obviously Keeper League, Dynasty Leagues, that's where Skaggs' value has as well. All right, forum questions. First one comes from Robbie Cano. Should he do this trade? A couple of uh, Tigers here. Should he give up Prince Fielder and get Miguel Cabrera in return? Yes. Yeah. Simple as that. We've had a lot of trades where people are, I don't know why. I mean, Fielder's good. Yeah, but, but <laughs> still, it's Cabrera. He's an MVP <laughs> candidate. Yes, you do this trade, obviously. Simple, nice and easy. All right, from Nikki B 95 he wants to get 
Dunn, Baron, and Gio Gonzalez, and he'd be giving up Harper, Hosmer, and Chris Capilano. Capilano. Brand has a hard time with names. It's, it, it sometimes just freezes, man. So this one, it. you're by far getting the best player in Ryan Braun. You know, Bryce Harper's just a lot of hype. You know, he's kind of doing right now what we thought him and Mike Trout would do, which is trail way off. At some point, just asking for comments. <laughs> I'm just asking for it, but uh, but Harper actually is doing what we thought. You know, Adam Dunn, not necessarily that excited about. Gio Gonzalez, decent arm for you. You know, definitely like him more than Capuano. The only way I would maybe not do this trade is if it's a keeper. Still practicing. Yeah, it did some names. Just if thought, it's man. a keeper league, you know, you might think twice <laughs> about giving up Harper, but. I really don't see why you wouldn't do this trade if this is a redraft league. So that's it for our bi-weekly baseball show. All of our football stuff is up. Be sure to check it out. We'll be redoing uh, the rankings here real soon. So hopefully all your drafts are going well. Post the stuff in the forums and check out all our Follow us on Twitter at Fantasy Vice. Like us on Facebook. And we got a new Google Plus page. Go ahead and I think it's a circle us. If, if they do anything, do that first. Love to see that crowd. Brand new. <laughs>